చూస్తున్నారు అది ఫోర్త్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ లోగో ఐ థింక్ విత్ ఇన్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ ఆర్ ఫార్టీ మినిట్స్ యూ విల్ గెట్ దట్ ప్రిసిషన్ ఫిట్మెంట్ ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ ద మ్యాజిక్ స్విచ్ నోన్ ఎస్ క్రూస్ కంట్రోల్ సో వైల్ డ్రైవింగ్ విల్ ఇట్ వర్క్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఇట్ వర్క్స్ ఎనీ ఫోర్ కార్ ఎనీ ఫోర్ కార్ అబౌట్ ట్వంటీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఓకే సో ఇట్స్ పాసిబుల్ బట్ ఇన్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ సెకండ్స్ ఆన్ ద విండోస్ ఇన్ రోల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ప్రెస్ ది అన్లాక్ రీజనబుల్ ఆప్షన్ ఫర్ టీపీఎంఎస్ ఇస్ యూ కెన్ Hello guys this is Dr Sadam and welcome back to Radiant Clicks Life channel today we have a wonderful guest with us so i am very happy to introduce mr jidin so he will talk more about what we are going to do today come on welcome to radiant clicks life channel thank man. you dr sadam happy uh, to meet you so i would like to first start off uh, my story with my echo sport i just bought the titanium variant as a stock uh, version okay so i was pretty happy with it but yeah it's a titanium model right yeah it's a titanium diesel with a sync 3 okay so it's a uh, kind of a rare combo which you will get in the echo sport yes. sync 3 is actually rare yeah. very rare so quite hard to find so i was fortunate enough to get it and yeah uh, over the period of 3 years i've driven close to 58000 kilometers which okay. is mine is around 50 yeah. sir <laughs> pretty good and i've traveled to a lot of places including bhutan like most of you might be aware that this was a car and i'm the one who traveled till bhutan mm-hmm. so during my long drives i faced uh, certain features which were lacking whereas at that point of time i felt oh why couldn't i have bought a upper variant like yes. a titanium plus or a sports yes yeah obviously you all knew that there was an issue with the 17 inches and then the cost difference was close to 3 lakhs yeah so that was not feasible for everyone to purchase so i thought of okay why not i enable certain features which are already there in the upper variants okay so that's how my discovery of uh, certain features like cruise control and tpms has started okay so if you see the entire car exterior is bone stock only the interior once you get inside the car is where you'll notice all the changes yes so i have spent close to say about 15 20k on all these mods put together i think for uh, future people who want to add some more modifications in the echo sport it will cost way lesser because there are some work arounds as well which i will explain later in the video okay so we can start off by going inside the car yes can you just uh, give a brief about uh, what all the mods you have done all right like. so the modifications what i have done would be cruise control tpms and i have uh, enabled the st line speedometer as well in the okay. indian echo okay. sport which was imported from the uk yeah so these are the notable modifications what i have done other uh, small modifications are there like enabling uh, st logo or the ford performance logo on the sync 3 screen okay and another major mod which most of them have complained as well but i don't recommend this though uh we can play videos as well on the sync 3 player and yeah, you can but have while driving you playing video is not it's not that, recommended yes. i just wanted to try it out of curiosity so that okay at least we have a potential to unlock certain features mm-hmm. so let us go inside and see sure, sure, how sure. it is sure. so the moment you open the car this dials will light up okay uh, in the indian version you will not see the li- dials lit up when the car opens like mm-hmm. it will automatically uh, switch off all the di- numbers as well mm-hmm. once you close it and this snake logo is called, also known as the ford performance logo uh, which you get in most of the st line cars and uh, other international models so you just wait for a few moments before it loads up yeah so this is a custom background and with the date displayed which none of the sync 3 currently in india has okay so i go to the settings here and i can enable your custom backgrounds any kind of image can be possible with this so so is there any specific resolution or something we need yes, to yes we have a specific resolution which is 800 into 340 okay any jpeg image and there's a particular format as well where you need to save these images okay only then it will be fed into the sync 3 system okay now for example if i want the mustang horse i just select it here and here you go okay so likewise i have another turn of backgrounds which i have enabled so already. if you enable this feature if you want some fresh feeling or something na like uh, like the not like the usual sync 3 you can change the background right yes you can your, your usual sync 3 backgrounds also are there uh-huh. along with these backgrounds okay. over here these are your usual sync 3 backgrounds uh-huh. which is on the this is the sync 3.4 version let me show you the version as well so i go to the general settings over here all the way down and uh, about sync okay So this is my sync version and for these mods to work you need to be on sync 3.4 any build number is okay okay so you can download sync 3.4 on your own using cyan labs if your vehicle is uh, pre 2020 eco but mine is a trend plus but i am not getting a 3.4 
Yeah, Ford India does not uh, provide uh, support for vehicles before 2020. Okay, okay. About 2020, you get uh, Sync 3.4. Uh-huh. Below that, there's a website called as Cyan Labs. Okay. It's a straightforward process. In uh, Within 15 minutes, you can download uh, this version. Okay. It's possible on any Ford uh, car which has Sync Maybe 3. we can uh, try to show them a small screen recording or something, right? Yeah, there are. There are quite a few recordings available okay, online okay. as well. Okay, okay. It's a pretty straightforward process. I've uh-huh. explained about all this on Team BHP. It's just okay. that I've scattered it here and there. Sure, sure. So that's the reason you would find uh, the information uh, helter skelter, basically. <laughs> so right. that is about the Sync 3. Yeah, the another inform- thing which I forgot to show you was uh, well, this is the most interesting part. Okay. Now just pause I it. go back. Because otherwise yeah, I will yeah. get a corporate. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So now I go to this uh, browse, browse here in my pen drive. Mm-hmm. I've named it TDCI because I like this engine a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just go to explore device here and you can see that there are some MP4 videos. So okay. let me play one movie yeah, clipping. Fine. So you need to double click on this icon. Some, sometimes you need to double click on this icon. Just leave it. It will go on its So, own. while driving will it work or not? It works at any speed but I do not recommend anyone to watch videos while driving. Okay. That's so, you don't need to convert to any Android system or something? You not can't... required. Oh. But we need to do certain uh, hardware changes which are in, behind the speedometer. Okay. Which is known as the APM module. Okay. Which can is... you uh, just keep it like that and otherwise the voice will come. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I you speak again? Switch it off. Yeah. Okay. So, if you need these uh, custom backgrounds and the date display as well as the video, uh-huh. there is a module behind, a silver box called as the APIM, okay. which is behind the speedometer in the Echo Sport. Uh-huh. Whereas for the Figo Twins and Endeavor, it is uh, behind the sync screen itself. Okay, so you do uh, this kind of technical mods in other cars as well, yeah, other than Echo Sport. Ford car. Any Ford car. Any Ford car about 2015. Okay. So, okay. it's possible. Okay. So, that's about the sync 3, what I had. Uh-huh. So I think it's quite a bit different. So uh-huh. my pipeline mods would be to display the battery voltage and the TPMS yeah. over here. Okay. So I'm still working on that. So once that comes, so you will get all those notifications. Everything in the, will be here only on the Sync 3 itself. So you are working on it. Yes, so okay. I'm working on that. So once I get that working, I will definitely share that with you all again. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So that's about the Sync. So let's fire up the instrument console. So this meter is pretty similar to your s variant meter, uh-huh. but you will find one big difference here. This is in miles. Okay. You see over here. Yeah. This is in miles per hour. Yeah. So the major difference is here would be the color display compared to your s variant meter and this meter. So this is uh, your favorite screen, which uh, which you get in the S variant as well, the star one. Uh-huh. Over here. Uh-huh. So you can again right press next to this OK button. You'll get multiple options here like digital speedometer so only the speedometer will be seen you can see the speedometer and as you accelerate this 0 to 30 kilometer per liter that is uh, instantaneous fuel economy the blue bar will go up and down depending on your driving style okay okay all right and here trip com- computer and audio so this shows your total distance and the music since i have kept the music at pause you will not know the song name uh-huh. else you can see the song name distance and the Which will be scrolling mileage. over there, right? Yeah, yeah. So maybe I can just play one song for you. So whatever song is being played will come over here. Okay. All right. So this has this much functions. And suppose you don't want anything, you are driving during night time and the screen is irritating you. Uh-huh. Just go to this calm screen option, you'll get a blank screen. Okay. All right. And even the brightness of the instrument cluster or the sync can be adjusted from your right side buttons next to the headlamp. Yeah. So here the brightness will be seen. You just need to press these buttons brightness can be increased or decreased and this is also in color okay you can see right the blue color uh-huh, uh-huh. so this also will be indicated over here so that you don't have to take your eyes off the road at all pretty cool indeed and this is the navigation part so this can this you need to enable it uh, from the speedometer itself uh, because ford does not enable it in india by default even okay. in the s variant uh-huh. so over here what i do is i just go to android auto on maps and let me give any address so basically your google maps will come over here only so i'll just give my house address and once i press 
the navigate option here when i press so the distance and it comes along with the arrow mark basically okay. this green icon whatever is there in google maps will come over here for you okay currently this works only for android auto on the speedometer for apple carplay it's yet to work in progress okay and once we get that we'll definitely update all of you all on that as well this feature is available on the echo sport and the endeavor and okay. only in the echo sport only the ones which have this bigger dial mm -hmm. that's the 4 inch mid it will work okay. otherwise this feature won't work okay all right so that's about the navigation and if i don't want the navigation i get a compass here compass here okay. so based on the steering input and the direction the compass will turn itself Uh -huh. That's about that, and likewise the music icon again. You can select your audio source also from here. That okay. is your FM or from your pen drive or from my phone. So I'll select my phone for instance, and you can just press play all. It'll play any song. Any songs. Okay, got it. Here it plays. Likewise, let us go below. This is again for phone, and I can attend my calls also from here. So you can see that uh, there are some calls here. So these are the calls which are incoming. outgoing missed calls everything is included in this okay so you just have to use these buttons to call or you can use the voice control and call pretty cool right yeah. i think no car below 30 or 35 lakhs has this feature okay which is a great thing which has been done by ford but sadly only very few of them know that such a feature exists also so actually they all these ford cars have lot of potential right yes yes it has humongous potential <laughs> and uh, the sad part is even the fly audio could have been integrated in such a way uh -huh. but i don't know for what reason ford has done this apart from cost okay. but if they have to give this and increase the cost a little bit also i think this would be a segment killer yeah definitely because the features it has you it will want you to keep the car for a longer time as well as well as you can use it to your heart's content without worrying too much about the cost uh -huh. so this is your usual trip computer and all that where your average mileage speed trip distance and the distance to empty also is there again this is all configurable so now you install the tpms no yeah yet. i'll show you the tpms okay. so you here you go to the settings where the car is seen mm. so again you press this three line button go to information here since my car is a sync 3 variant it comes with my key by default okay i am not activated my key because it's uh, too annoying at times <laughs> so that is why yeah sometimes activate. it will keep yeah, showing notifications it will lock the Biggest thing is it will lock the speed. Suppose if I am going at one ten, mm. and if I have the my key, I cannot uh, cross beyond one ten. Okay. That's the uh, drawback if you are an owner. But if you are giving it to someone else, then it's a pretty cool feature to have again. Yeah, people won't yeah uh, rush drive it. You like. can't drive it rush. You can't increase the volume mm -hmm. uh, more than fifty uh, percentage of the audio volume. Okay. So that those are the benefits, and the distance to empty also comes up at an earlier stage. Usually this will come at eighty kilometer distance. Mm -hmm. So if you enable with the my key your distance to empty warning will come at 120 itself. Okay. That is a good thing though. Okay. And as you scroll down this is my TPMS. Okay. So you can go back from 15. here as well in information tire pressure. So these are my tire pressures which are visible. So I have uh, enabled these on my own. So I bought the sensors from Ford itself and mm -hmm. I enabled it and it's uh, it'll work on any variant of Ford. But for installation Ford. of that uh, particular sensor you need to go to the fast right? only to activate the sensor you need to go to the fast okay. otherwise you can uh, there's something called as tpms learning tool okay currently it's not available in india mm -hmm. you get that in the us that's about uh, 10 mm -hmm. so you just put uh, keep the learning tool next to the tire sensor it will automatically activate, activate and uh, you okay. can see the values mm -hmm. but another uh, reasonable option for tpms is you can try with the mahindra oem tpms as well okay so because, that will work with us work with yeah, our cars because the frequency is same Okay, Ford also has four thirty three megahertz frequency. Mahindra also has four thirty three megahertz. But Ford's cost is two and a half thousand, uh -huh. whereas the Mahindra TPMS sensor costs thousand two hundred. No, oh my God, <laughs> so that's a big difference. And though the Ford Mahindra alliance didn't work uh, officially in uh -huh. terms of parts, we are getting use of it. Yes, so that's about that. <laughs> and another cool thing is the oil life. Unfortunately, in my car, since the cluster was old and I got this from the UK, okay. So the oil life does not indicate the percentage. Otherwise, you will get the exact percentage of oil life, as well as the service due reminder, which is again quite helpful for any owner. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to check with the dipstick all the time. The percentage will just be here. So if okay. it goes below thirty percent, that means it's time for you to time change for the oil. Time for changing the oil. Because it will give a warning if it goes below ten, five, and zero as well. But it's not appropriate to take it to such a low level as it can damage your engine in the long run so once we get into this display settings it's all uh, pretty straight forward but oh. 
interesting part is because this is a sync 3 system you can choose any european language you want to okay. choose as well <laughs> which is actually quite fascinating yeah you can try yeah. it sometimes and this is your uh, measurement unit kilometer per liter most of the owners get confused when you get that 5.8 liter divided by 100 uh-huh. so th- this is the place you got to change it so it will come by liters and hun- uh, by 100 kilometer so we just need to change it to kilometer per liter actually actually kilometer per liter is more convenient to yeah. understand so that is why i have kept it at kilometer per liter as my default setting uh-huh. all right temperature and tire pressure and all is the usual stuff okay i'm not explaining more on that so driver assistant since mine is a titanium variant uh, you'll get the rear park uh, uh, camera uh, alert yeah plus i also have enabled the rear camera as well in this sync 3 system because okay. titanium variant does not come with rear camera even though it comes with sync 3 mhm uh-huh. So I'll talk about that later. Okay, fine. So in driver assistance, you'll get even a hill hold as well. Uh-huh. So which I'm working on currently, hill hold because you need a yaw aid sensor and it involves the ABS systems. And you will also get this uh, driver alert system, which is known as suppose if the uh, driver is drowsy or sleepy, the car alert. Okay, 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 like, okay. Like uh, in squ- some Skoda or Audi cars, right? So you get that also. But for that, it won't work uh, in India because. You need a camera over here. Okay, so, so that camera. will keep monitoring you. That will monitor the road conditions, and in case if your uh, steering inputs are not proper, that is when the system will allow you to take a break. Okay, which can be considered for a future mod, but as of now, since you won't get the glass also as a spare, in India it's quite difficult unless Ford considers. But it, it is possible, future. right? It is there in the European. No, no, no. In, we, we can uh, do it in Cosford as well, right? it is there in eco sport only okay. but in the european model not okay. for india mm-hmm. whereas ford has not given that due to cost reasons primarily mm-hmm. and here if you go to vehicle settings i have the alarm system another thing is the endeavor gets an alarm but the eco sport does not get an alarm you okay. only get the alarm tone in terms of the horn mm. suppose if you take the key out with the car with the ignition on it will just honk okay right where and if someone touches the car you won't get any no, no, you won't warning. get it yes there is an endeavor will get the warning yeah so that alarm is not there but i have enabled the alarm guard and kept okay and chimes are all the warning yeah, information and that all that and lighting so here you can set the headlamp delay for your auto headlamp auto headlamp okay and all that and even you have an option for drl as well but since we don't have much choices to play around with the drl i have not enabled that drl option okay. but you can switch off the drl too if needed okay you can enable that over here locks i think is pretty straight forward auto lock and rock relock and in case of a miss lock suppose one door is open and the other three are closed properly still if you try to lock the car will sound a okay. double honk okay all right mirrors again auto fold is here and windows this is also another important thing which i've been working on okay which is known as global windows this comes in the endeavor and the european eco sport which means that uh, you can open the window or close the window with your lock and lock button okay same as uh, apollo gt mm-hmm. you press the lock button for 5 seconds all the windows will roll down and if you press the uh, sorry un- if you press the lock button for 5 seconds all the windows will roll up if you press the lock- unlock button all windows will roll down so that's the global open and close function So this also is a work in progress project still i'll let you all know on that so okay. that's about the vehicle information and yeah my key i have explained already so that's about the speedometer, speedometer cluster. cluster in certain cars you will get this navigation direction as well compass direction like uh-huh. the north west south or south east east and west all directions will come here now coming to the interesting part transport titanium you would get only this part of the switch and not this So but this is the magic switch known as cruise control. Mm-hmm. All right so I have made a cut over here behind the steering. So there you will see a minor gap but it's not too noticeable to the naked eye. Yes. So this is the gap which will cause when you are cutting for this switch because the switch is bigger in size and you need to place this. So the functions of this cruise control are when you are driving on a highway on an empty stretch of road you want to say relax your right foot because people who drive more than 400 500 kilometers a day yeah. their uh, right foot will start paining yes so you can just press this uh, symbol here set and press the plus or minus buttons to play around with whatever speed you want mm. and you still have complete control over the car like you can press the brake or the clutch and still get the car to your control okay only the speed will be constant, constant. irrespective of the surface uh, by, and another important safety feature is when you are trying to enable cruise control in heavy rain it won't work because ford is enabled in such a way that in heavy rains cruise control 
will get disabled even if you try to enable it okay so which is a good thing so that you will not for the safety purpose yes yeah. will not completely depend on the car itself they mean that you need to have control over the car during wet weather or bad weather conditions okay that's about that and the limit for cruise control would be from 30 km per hour to 150 km per hour okay whereas in the older models like the older eco sport and figo you will not get the exact speed over here you will just get this icon okay. but it will be in green color uh-huh. so you get that icon indicating the cruise control is active on the older cars okay so that's how that is your identification to see the cruise control is on or, or, or not yeah all right so and how to uh, fix this um, this thing i mean like uh, the switches yeah switch is uh, pretty simple like you will get the switches for a very low cost itself like uh, for 600 rupees you will get this switch on board mode it's a noe part okay nothing after market so the important task here is we need to remove the steering uh, wheel co- cover the plastic cover which is over here and even for accessing the speedometer you need to remove this cover so you just remove these two clips like this and this will come out this entire thing can be pulled with your hand okay i am uh, and you can just remove it and there is a, there is a hole here a silver color hole let me just close this back yeah so there is a silver color hole here so uh-huh. you, you need to use a flathead screw driver okay just, just behind this this thing right yeah just behind the steering okay you need to press that silver color hole with a flathead screw driver so that your airbag pops up and you can open the switch okay so i have a picture where you where you need to expose the bolt as well so uh-huh. that the new switch will fit in and you can fix it on your own but okay. the configuration part needs to be done uh, by us i have a licensed software most of you all might know that software most of you all don't but i can help you a lot with that and we can uh, cut it uh, as per but you need a lot of patience while cutting this so mm-hmm. that you don't get the gap yeah because uh, sometimes the gap might look ugly as well yes yes so you need to cut it from the inside inner edge of the steering not the outer edge cut it from the inner edge and uh, i think within half an hour or 40 minutes you will get that precision fitment okay once you get that just replace the wiring harness from inside there's no cutting of any wire so you need to wire replace the wire from here inside the steering is known as a clock spring replace that wire and replace these two wires it comes as a set, a y set okay set of three connectors replace it and enable the configurations your cruise control works so total time spent on this would be about 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours to get it enabled get it done. that's it yeah and it will not cause any after effects for your car it will be as is like how your car was before It'll it won't show any errors in future as well. any errors in terms of uh, the car's behavior okay everything will be fine but in terms of warranty yes if it's a new car i wouldn't recommend you all to do it right away because you all are on factory warranty if your warranty is over or if you all are on extended warranty then it's okay to take the chance and go ahead with it okay and but that's a really good feature actually everyone should have it actually if you guys are uh, traveling a lot in highways or something it will be very beneficial yeah, right yeah those who are driving on the highways it's pretty uh, effective and plus even those are automatic also uh-huh. it's more convenient like you just put the gear in d and if you are going about say 30 or 40 kilometers you just set the speed at 40 or 50 in the city you can just use these two buttons and drive the car uh-huh. you don't have to put much effort on you know accelerating and deaccelerating also yeah yeah just press two buttons and it's easier right yeah. takes out the stress out of you even for city driving okay and another benefit is your mileage also will increase okay. because the car is going at the same speed so you will not have much of fuel burn as well so you can have your cake and eat it as well so that's yes. the <laughs> best part of the cruise control yeah and you can set it up to the speeds what i mentioned earlier which is 30 and a maximum 150. 150 but my recommended speed limit would be 100 to 110 because that's safer on indian roads and you will get better control over the vehicle because above 130 140 it feels a bit scary to use cruise control and depend on the car itself okay so that's the thing which i would say about the cruise control yeah. and there's another function called as a limiter uh-huh. basically which limits the speed so again yeah like a speed limit control yeah like the mikey also has a speed limit right okay so the ones which don't have mikey you can enable this okay so if you enable this you can set it from a speed of 30 if you short press it will go in increments of 1 km if you long press it it will go in increments of 10 km so it will go up to 150 there okay. beyond which it won't go likewise you can reduce it also long press it will reduce short press 
will go by 1 km so that way the, even if you try to accelerate the car won't cross that set speed which is again useful so that in case of all the speed cameras not right mm. you uh, because a lot of speed cameras are there in kerala these yeah, if if you know the speed limit of that particular yeah. road, so even that is it, really confusing actually yeah. some road it will be 60 some road it will be 70 yeah, uh, so, so you can just set it at that speed so even if you are trying to accelerate the car won't go yeah so that way you are uh, following the law as well and you are within the limiters limit to yeah. so that's about the limiter and okay. i think that's about the features what i have enabled on the eco sport till now so i got a lot of friends who are using ford cars so if somebody wants to get this kind of upgradation done uh, i can contact you right yeah we can do it uh, uh, i can do it sir i'm not an issue <laughs> but the thing is uh, uh, what right the um, people must be willing to take that chance yes yes because yes. for the uh, present eco sport it's easier easier and for the older eco sport there is a little bit even you can pre face lift pre face lift model you can yeah, do yeah. all this kind of things any ford car even figo freestyle aspire uh, second gen fiesta okay and uh, eco sport first model we can do it okay. no problem but in those cars we need little additional wiring mm-hmm. here it is direct plug and play over there we need to add two wires but you have the source person to get all this yeah, wire i have uh, my source we yeah. can get all those wiring and all done okay so and even you all can do the hardware part by yourself mm-hmm. right? if you know if you have a little interest in all these tools and uh, diys you can do it okay otherwise you can take my help as well i'll be more than happy to help you all out with that okay. and it's possible but in the older ford cars you won't get the limiter mm-hmm. you get only the cruise control function okay so that's possible so i will surely add his number in the description you can check it out if you want to have any kind of any these kind of mods or uh, customization you can uh, really contact him yeah. right yeah we can contact through email i think that will be more easy okay then i will put his email in the description yeah. so you can just uh, send him a mail and so he will guide you properly so yeah. i think that's all even on the... team bhp as well so yes. I go by the hardcore member in team BHP. <laughs> so my handle is Jitin23. So I don't post quite often but when I come up with something interesting like this I do post there. Mm-hmm. So you have most of the information what is required for you over there itself. Okay. So that would also help. Okay. So very nice to talk to you Mr. Jitin. Yeah, so we can wind up right? Yeah, I think we can uh, wind up. Okay. Uh, for now. So that's all for today. So if you guys like this video please do subscribe to channel and uh, please do follow both of us in Instagram. <laughs> and till the next video take care and bye bye. See you.